Welcome to Tesla Vision. Today, we will talk about the most recent Tesla news and updates. Let's get into it right away. With the success of all H Giga factories, Tesla may build the next one in the United Kingdom. This news is being widely discussed after senior government officials' declarations about the land sites being considered as a potential location for the new Giga factory. The location, referred to as Gravity, is a 635-acre smart campus being developed in the Somerset area. The House of Commons has been discussing both manufacturing skills of the local workforce and its professional competence in terms of making the proposed project a reality. Among those most interested in the implementation of the project are Bridgewater and West Somerset MP Jan Lindel Granger and Kwasi Kwarteng, Secretary of State for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy. The UK government has pledged to play its part in the electric vehicle and battery development inside the United Kingdom. The discussions on the best possible location for Tesla's Gigafactory have been going on since the summer of 2020, with Tesla's first setting its eyes on a 91-acre site. There were a lot of efforts invested into making gravity the ideal location, yet the talks got quiet after a while. Last month, it was reported that Mr. Musk got a letter with an invitation to pay a visit to the Gravity site, yet no definitive information has surfaced regarding the Gigafactory at Gravity. However, there are not many other locations that could accommodate the new Tesla facility in Britain. Gravity has an excellent road infrastructure offering access to Junction 23 of the M5. There are also a number of purpose-built freight and passenger rail terminals in the area. Experts do seem to agree that building a Gigafactory at the Gravity site will definitely be a smart move for both Tesla and the United Kingdom, significantly aiding the former in its expansion and meeting the EV demand within the latter. Faraday Institution's estimates suggest that there might be at least one Gigafactory in the UK by 2022, two by 2025 and eight by 2040. These numbers are based on the demand of the United Kingdom for electric vehicles. However, we should keep in mind the fact that other car makers in the UK, such as MG, are also making and selling their electric vehicles there. The Goro mine in New Caledonia is being considered to be put under the supervision of Tesla. It will help Tesla in having easier access to nickel for manufacturing batteries for its vehicles. Batteries, such as the 4680 cells shown at the Battery Day event, require high-quality nickel for the manufacturing process. Tesla will most likely enter the agreement with the New Caledonian government that will help regulate the issue. Even though the Goro mine has gone through some ups and downs, it remains one of the largest nickel producers in the world. Some groups demanding independence of the island from France sparked many protests back in December of 2020. This event caused the delay in the mine's sale by Bale, a Brazilian miner corporation, to a consortium named Prony Resources. The representatives of the independence movement and the government of New Caledonia have struck an agreement in accordance with which the sale of the mine will now be made possible. This will let the mining operations continue in the area, help reach the sustainability goals, while also creating jobs and a better economic future for the people in the country. It should be a win-win situation for everyone involved. Tesla is also responsible to make sure that the men acquiring the raw material from mining are socially responsible ones. No violations of human rights must be permitted at any point in time. All the nickel acquired by Tesla will be highly valuable to them as it will be a part of their much-anticipated 4680 batteries. These will be an important part of Tesla's Cybertruck and Tesla Semi. If Tesla undertakes the supervision of the mine, it will get benefits as well as some huge responsibility on its shoulders. It will have to play its cards very wisely on all the matters. Tesla can have a rapid increase in sales if the after-sales service aspects are actually catered to. SAP SE is a software maker in Germany that has come forward to raise its concerns about Tesla. The company provides vehicles to its employees for personal and official use as a bonus for working there. This firm has noticed a demand for Tesla vehicles from its employees. Unfortunately, the company has not yet purchased any vehicles from Tesla due to its flimsy service network in Europe. There are almost 17,000 vehicles in the company's network, out of which most are Mercedes-Benz and BMW models. 
Even though the firm and all its employees are interested in bringing in Teslas, it is not possible as short notice servicing of Teslas is not a reality at present. SAPSE is not the only company going through this dilemma. Other firms such as BASFSE, a chemical giant, are also facing it. BASFSE has over 50,000 employees willing to switch to Tesla vehicles but unable to do so due to the lack of service available. They are also waiting for a suitable service network to be made available across Europe. These sort of corporate vehicle sales make almost 60% of all car sales in Europe. Tesla is missing out on a huge opportunity at the moment. It is estimated that if Tesla does correct this flaw, it will have access to a market of over $360 billion. Another reason behind this untapped market is rigidity in Tesla's behavior. Other automakers offer bulk buying discounts and tailor-made cars to suit their clients' needs. On the other hand, Tesla does not seem willing to do so. Corporate clients seem to have quite a favorable view of Tesla as its vehicles will eventually be capable of driving autonomously in full self-driving mode. Another reason is all the subsidies offered by governments to buy and drive Tesla vehicles. The two things combined would be favorable for any large company. There has also been a 20% rise in corporate vehicle sales in the past 10 years in Europe. Only 4% of all these vehicles were electric. If Tesla makes the right decisions and strengthens its servicing system, the Model Y and Model 3 could have immense sales in the European corporate world. There is a huge dilemma for purchasing Teslas in many parts of the world. Tesla vehicles require little to no servicing because of how they are built. The companies that buy corporate vehicles have a history of buying and fixing internal combustion engine vehicles, so they are also skeptical about Teslas. Requiring significantly less servicing is a plus point for a Tesla, but it gets easily shadowed by the fact that the service system is not going to be a good one if the need for it actually arises at any time. Tesla needs to work on this aspect to remove the anxiety that the companies have towards it. All the perks such as FSD, subsidies and electric drivetrain are lost because of the fear that the vehicle will be difficult to take care of when it actually breaks down. All Tesla owners that have a faulty Model S or Model X may be eligible for a repair and reimbursement. In January, the problem with the multimedia card MMC was identified in several Model X and Model S vehicles by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Tesla agreed to recall all these vehicles and fix the memory chip problems. Vehicles made between 2012 and 2018 had the problem and were eligible for repairs. Tesla decided to cover the costs of the repairs for all the owners. Owners that had the problem fixed at their own expense will be offered reimbursements of all the expenses incurred. Tesla came forward to state that the problem was due to the wear and tear of the flash chips being used in the system. This fault was found to be a very severe one if not handled in time due to its effects on basic car functions. Cameras for the drive assist and security features seemed to get turned off whenever the MMC malfunctioned. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.